Hey, console lovers, welcome to my YouTube channel. As you know, the console wars are really heating up with Mecha Comet and the Nintendo Switch 2 being the talk of the town. But today we've got something new on our hands, a console called Pilot, which they describe as a portable open source computer. It comes in two sizes, unlimited hackability and the ability to design and build your own modules. Sounds great. Is that a pop-up camera I see? And wait, it also has an antenna. Hmm, that's giving me some old school, classy vibes. I love it. They're advertising seven hours of on-screen battery time. Hmm, sounds decent, but I guess we'll have to wait until it's officially launched to test that out. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Oh, and get this. It has a home automation system, which means it can connect with assistant apps and devices like Google Home and Amazon Alexa. That's super convenient. And, oh, wow, retro games. I'm all for this. It's bringing back memories from my childhood. Love that feature. There's also a focus on STEM education, which is fantastic. It's full of tech and science, a real treat for anyone who's into gadgets. And here's a kicker. You can code on the go. Yup. Just this tiny device in your hand and you're good to code wherever you want. Plus, they're sticking to their open source promise. You can download both software and hardware source files. That's definitely a nice touch for the tech savvy crowd. All right. Now let's take a look at their website. A good project always has a solid digital presence, right? First impression. We see the name Pilot in a huge picture of both variants right on the home page. The display looks clean and organized. They're boasting a seven hour battery life with dual 8,000 mash batteries. Sounds impressive. Uh, and, and they've shown the internal circuit components, uh, which is pretty cool. The Pilot 5 console is their most compact model with a five inch display. You can see a hands-on display of the five inch model. And down below, there's a 7-inch Pilot 7 tablet with a bigger screen and the option to add a keyboard, gamepad, camera, and more. That's a lot of versatility. Good stuff. Um, and there's a gamepad module, too, which gives it that retro gaming experience. I'm definitely a fan of that. Uh, they've also got uh, an FAQ section on the site, uh, but I'll just skim over that for now. Uh, finally, check this out. They've posted the latest engineering prototype photos, and it looks like they've got something special here. So what do you guys think about the PLA console? Drop your insights in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more reviews. See you next time.